When my daughter pointed out that it's the texture of vegetables, not the flavor that kids don't like, I started sneaking them into my homemade pizza via the blender. It's easy to make. Kinda. I'm not exactly a natural with the dough. For sure, I'm counting this as a workout. Dealing with the dough is easy. The real challenge is teaching kids to eat healthy. I use as many veggies as I can get away with. And the end result looks a lot like a plain cheese pizza and is as close to delivery as I can make it. A cardboard box gives it the appearance of authentic fast food. I'll even deliver. My kids love my knock-knock jokes. I believe the most important thing that we can teach our children is that eating healthy is a matter of life and death. My first priority as a parent is to keep my kids safe and healthy. Teaching them to prepare nutrient-dense foods is critical. Eating is social and habits are learned in childhood. Donuts with dads and muffins with moms don't foster healthy families. It's not the genes we pass on that cause disease. It's the diet. I show my kids how to use a blender to their advantage. Yep, this looks like green glop. Nope, it doesn't taste like nacho cheese. But real food has a purpose. Someday they'll discover blenders make more than kale. But they'll also learn life is only fun when you feel good and food is the only medicine that can keep them healthy. I've bribed and blackmailed my kids into experimenting with homemade deodorant. Products aren't tested for safety. They're assumed safe until enough people are harmed that they're proven dangerous. But we know that aluminum is a neurotoxin and 99% of breast cancers contain parabens. It's normal to use deodorant and race for the cure, but it's not healthy. I'm countering the commercials and peer pressure with the truth, hoping that if my kids know better, they'll do better. Being a good example of happy and healthy is the most important thing I do for my kids. I show them how to be active and strong by being those things myself. I want them to see that love and passion are actions. Kids don't do as you say, they do as you do, so we gotta do it with them. Now I'm not the mom who doesn't miss a game. If I was, there'd be no dinner. I look for ways to spend time with my kids when we can interact and be active together. Learning and most importantly, laughing.